going live for the first time at 12 p.m. this beautiful Wednesday on Amazon. And uh, just waiting to press go live. You can see me in action. Let's go live. Join the chat. turn on all my lights. This is Nikki Sun from Tent Nikki Speaking here with a gear recommendation. A wireless microphone system that not only plugs into your camera, but also to your phone and computer. What do you think? That's dope. No. You're zooming in on me. And at the same time, I have no director or cameraman. Right now, you're like Asian Daenerys in my mind. I've always been the mother of cameras. <laughs> I love technology. When other women see us in mm, front of yes, the camera, yes. they're inspired to do it too. This has been Nikki Sun with Gals and Gear at NAB Show Live. Nikki is an amazing like entrepreneur slash content creator slash female director slash cinematographer slash Asian <laughs> ambassador. She's talking about choosing the right camera for the job. Woo! I love her. She's amazing. That was it for this episode of Tech Nikki Speaking. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, just testing. Okay, audio is on, we are maxed out. Hello everyone, hello everyone, and welcome to my second day in a row of streaming. It is the second and last day again as Amazon Prime early access two day exclusive sale exclusively for Amazon Prime members. Welcome to Tech Nikki Speaking by Nikki Sun. I'm your host, Nikki Sun. If you're new here, please hit that follow button. I go live normally every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I have a whole show dedicated to products, technology, lifestyle, goods that could help benefit and up your level of content creation. So I'm super, super excited. Also, because I've never done it during the day, I have normal folks with their dogs and walking and possibly uh, upkeeping. So if you hear certain sounds, please let me know and I will definitely try to adjust my audio for you. But welcome to the second day of the Amazon Prime Early Access Sale. Yesterday, I had a full hour and a half talking about deals and I was going over so much products and details that I didn't get a chance to finish the rest of my carousel. So what I'm gonna do today is make sure we go over the tech deals from yesterday that I absolutely think content creators need in their life and then browse through that a little bit more because you can always check out the full details in my last live stream. But today we'll also go forward talking about other ones that I think you definitely need to know. So first things first, I'm just gonna say hello in the chat, but Don, hello, Rocky. Oh, shout out to my girl, Rocky. I brought on Rocky Nash. She has a live stream as well, so make sure you follow her. But I brought on Rocky and Aaron Parecki of Yolo Box uh, Stardom <laughs> now to talk about how to live stream. They are amazing virtual uh, producers and you can literally consult with them and bring them onto your set to uh, make sure that your 
virtual live streams are top notch. So shout out to Rocky for coming and support your girl. I really, really appreciate you. But I'm gonna dive right in. So yesterday's set is quite different from today because I wanna talk about a couple of the Amazon early or prime early access deals that you can get right now that can add all this color and dimension to your current set. So content creators, live streamers, Twitchers, basically your at home studio. You can add a whole bunch of smart tech home products to elevate and make your life so much easier and more efficient. So we're gonna hit right into it. So first things first, I mean, it wouldn't be an Amazon live stream without talking a little bit about one of the products that is specifically from Amazon, which is the Echo or the Alexa. Now, the specific one that I like is the fourth generation with the clock because I love being able to see the clock, but that currently wasn't considered a Amazon Prime deal. So right now, the one that I have in my carousel is the Echo fourth generation. And again, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, possibly also on YouTube and Facebook, because I am streaming three places at once. I'm streaming everywhere all at once. Um, uh, make sure if you have an Amazon account, log in so you can join the chat because the chat is a huge awesome place to um, talk and get going with other people. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Nikki. Let's go shopping. Yes, let's go shopping. All right, so hopping right back in. And if you're looking at your phone or viewing this on Amazon through a mobile device, know that everything that I'm talking about, I'm selecting at the carousel at the bottom of your phone. And if you're watching on a bigger screen, thank you very much, on your desktop or your television station, it's gonna be to the left side. All right, so the first thing that we have is the Echo. And you know, you don't really need just the Echo, but if you have like a Google Assistant or you know, I believe Siri, but also the uh, Alexa, Amazon Alexa, you'll be able to sync up through your voice these lights back here. And this is how much I love you all because I've been talking about my bedroom lights for the longest time, but obviously they're in my bedroom. But for today, because it is also a early access sale, I removed the lights from my bedroom and put them out here so I can show you an in-person demo, all right? So let's give it up for that. Please smash that star button on the bottom right of my corner. I don't know exactly what it does, but I think it lets other people know that this is a live stream worth watching. So we'd love for you to hit that star button. <laughs> okay, so again, this is the Echo. If you don't have a voice activated device, this is a really, really good one. I've been utilizing two. I have two, one in my bedroom and one in my living room or my studio. But this allows me to basically be anywhere in my place and activate anything that is smart home related. So I would just suggest if you are needing to test out anything voice activated, Amazon Alexa makes it really, really easy. And this Echo fourth generation is really, really nice as well. So um, I'd like also that it does light up when there's notifications. So when I get packages, I can literally just ask, which can be a little dangerous. I literally just ask Amazon Alexa to add it to my shopping list um, or add a reminder or a to-do or set a timer or play my music and you could attach either your Amazon Music or your Spotify accounts. Basically anything you want to attach to, it'll do it for you and they'll give you notifications when the package has been delivered. So for those of us who are on Amazon Prime constantly shopping, that is one of the features that I do like. That's when I know that something has happened. So if you're in the other side of your home and you hear a dun dun and a yellow light at the bottom, you know a package has been delivered. So definitely love that as well. Thank you, Wolf3349 started following. I appreciate you so much. Again, if you're new here, you've never seen me before, I would appreciate a follow. I go live every Tuesday to talk about tech and especially gear that content creators can use to level up your own studio production, whatever channel that you're trying to create. I'm here to be transparent. I wanna share, I'm here to give. And also if you have any questions, please feel free to enter it in the chat because if I don't get to it today, I definitely will get to it in my upcoming uh, live streams. All right, now that if you have the Echo or any voice activated device, I'm gonna talk about the next item, which is also a prime early access deal. It's the Sengled Smart LED Light Bars. So right now, this is 45% off, okay? I'm not really supposed to discuss prices specifically, but I can say that when I originally got it, um, it was 45% more so this is actually really really nice and this is what i have back here i have 
labeled these Sengled smart LED lights my bedroom lights and there are 14 different colors there are modes as well this is actually not one of my favorite colors but it's actually red right now but as you can see I put the light bars to the back because right we have this here but obviously because your walls are white and anytime you bounce it off of a white wall you get these nice more sunset glowy looks so this was originally for your tv so if you want light bars you can put it like this and you can put your tv right here in the center but however i use this to have ambient lighting when i go to sleep and right before i shut down my studio i turn this on so this is being transparent here, but this is normally not here. So let's do this together. And if you do have uh, an echo at home, just letting you know, I might be turning on and off your lights. <laughs> so if you want to mute this next part, go for it. All right. So these are my bedroom lights. Alexa, turn off my bedroom lights. Okay. Okay. So this is what I started with. Okay. And also I wanted to show you this is my studio welcome to my studio i reset up everything for you so you can see more of my background um, and i can switch between the two so it's a little dark right now this is not my normal set i'll show you my original set alexa turn on my backlights okay all right so this is my normal set i'm gonna go back in the front and this is what i normally this is how my set normally is. My light strip is also separate. So I have voice automated with the Amazon Echo. I don't like to say a, the L because they'll activate it, you know? So um, this is what I normally have. And when I set it up, I can set multiple lights up as a scene. And when I create these scenes, I'm able to just turn everything on and off in the same group. So my backlight really, adjust all my studio lighting but if i wanted to isolate it after i turn it on i can literally turn this light strip specific colors as well but i'll get to that because that is the next item in the carousel we're talking about my bedroom lights or the one that i have featured in the carousel which is sangled smart led light again this is prime early access deal it is 45 percent off right now if you want to add a pop of color or some practical lights for those of you who are filmmakers if you want some practical lights in the background too this is great for it so i'm going to turn off my backlights so you can see the before and after um, but let me go out to the rider view so you can see kind of where it is alexa turn my bedroom lights red okay okay and Alexa, turn my back lights off. Oh, maybe she didn't hear me. Alexa, turn my back lights off. Okay. I've been doing this with her all day. She's probably tired of me like telling her to do things. <laughs> but this is the red, right? And then now I can just isolate this. One of my favorite colors when I actually go to sleep is um, warm white. So there's like bright white warm white but i'll show you what warm white looks like and that's actually the original color of my light strip on my back wall but alexa turn my bedroom lights warm white okay so right now this is what it looks like with my studio like this but then this is kind of how it has with the soft glow so imagine again i don't use these sangled lights outside i actually put it in my bedroom because it allows me to fall asleep with not so harsh lighting and it does set the mood so if you want to add a little ambient lighting um right now it is like really really awesome in that way oh sorry rocky <laughs> yep i was like yep it's gonna get triggered so <laughs> Oh man, I was like, you can mute me, Rocky, at this point. I'm not gonna do so much more with the, um, I, I figure I get the uh, triggers of the activating your echo out of the way first, and then I don't have to do that the rest of the stream. Okay, so again, these light bars are super, super awesome. Uh, for the price, um, you can just set it up. It's app controllable. Again, you do need, a voice activated assistant. So if you already have a Google, you can download the Singlet app or add it to your Google assistant. And then also if you have 
Amazon Echo like I do, you can set that up through that. But I love being able to just come home, activate my lights, or when I'm about to record in my studio or when I'm about to go live, I just turn on my backlight studios. And then literally when I'm done, I tell Amazon, my, my Amazon Echo to turn on my bedroom lights. And that way, when I shut down all my lights in my studio, by the time I go to the, my bedroom, I see a light that guides me, you know? You know how when you're like walking in the dark and you're like, oh, I need to turn on the light, but I don't want to get up because it's all the way over there. I know I sound really, really lazy, but ever since making my home super smart home teched out, I can't go back. Uh, so just saying, if you've always wanted to add a little extra pizzazz to your TV area or just any wall that you have, and I will say, look, for those of you who are content creators who want a different look in your background, obviously you don't have to show it. You can put these off to the side. You can put them in your IKEA Kallax boxes, which are very, very popular amongst content creators. But I do have the IKEA Kallax six uh, or eight bin organizer in the back. And you can put lights everywhere and designate one light for each thing and you don't have to lift a finger. So. I love being able to change my background really quickly, especially when you're shooting content for different brands and maybe they have a different color. So for instance, like I did something for Puget Systems and I, their colors were like a green and a blue and I'm like, this is amazing because then I can turn on my backlights and then turn my bedroom light or the Sanglet lights a different color, like green or blue. So it's on brand with their color. And I didn't have to repaint anything. I didn't have to move a green screen. I didn't have to do any of that. And it still is a nice ambient way of adding just a pop of color to a lot of what we're doing. So I would say I've loved it very much so far. I've been using it for about a year now. And it is one of my favorite lights to add to the home. The only reason why I'm spending a little bit more time on this is because I've always mentioned these lights, but I've never had, uh, I've been too lazy to grab it from my bedroom to put it here so you can see a live demonstration. But anyways, one more time. Alexa, turn my bedroom lights green. Okay. And um, yeah, so it's just really responsive. There's different modes as well, but I'm gonna turn these off now so I don't have to use them the rest of the stream, or maybe I can. Uh, Rocky, you might wanna mute this next part because, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll just let you know now. Mute your parts if you all have a voice activated assistant. Alexa, turn my bedroom lights red. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on that and I'm going to revert back to how my studio normally is. Alexa, turn on my backlights. Okay. All righty. <laughs> okay, so now. With the added color of the red from my bedroom lights, I am sort of close to my original set. And um, going on to the next item, now this wasn't, I'm looking at it, yeah, it wasn't part of the Prime Early Access deal, so the light bars were. But if you're looking or were wondering about the light strip that's behind my IKEA Calyx, it is um, here as well. It is also a single LED item as well so feel free that is the exact one i have it is a voice activated light strip that is has an adhesive in the back so you can literally stick it to the back of a cubby or your bookshelf underneath your cabinets but i love that it is smart activated so i didn't have to um, really do much so once again once you have a voice activated assistant and you attach certain brands to it you're able to really just have a whole ecosystem of smart lights in your home and it has made creating content in my home studio so much more easy, so much more fun and it's efficient. So before I had the light strip, I had a different brand and it wasn't smart activated. So I would have to go to the back behind it and unplug uh, my the USB-A into my power device every time I wanted to turn it on and off. So this is just a really nice way to not have to do it and it's automated. So, and it's cool too, you know, when you have friends that are coming over and they see you do what you do on your channel and they always want to see the behind the scenes. This is why I set up this view right here because I, I create content for content creators. So it's a little meta, it's a little um, <laughs> inception in a way because 
the things that I talk about on my channel is how to elevate your game as a creator so you can create the content and you can tell your story and you could put out whatever you want in your life um, to do what it is to continue building your channel so <laughs> and you're welcome rocky she says thanks for the heads up i totally muted that so that is awesome um i also just wanted to make sure that i was going on my yolo box because right now i'm able to run my entire stream off of my yolo box right now so just fyi okay so this is the next part i wanted to talk about and because i have my system like this i can actually show you my camera uh now i guess i can say so richard what's up richard richard joins us every chat on tuesday i was like but i'm going live on a wednesday at 12 it's in the afternoon and I wonder like who will show up from my normal chat so it's so nice to see you Richard shout out to Richard um, yes and if you haven't yet please follow my channel and Rome! hi Rome how are you it's so awesome oh my gosh Nelson you guys are so awesome I just talked to a lot of you all last night and I know that people actually work uh, during normal hours. So sometimes I feel weird because I'm like, let's go on at 12. And I'm trying to catch it where people have their <laughs> um, lunch break and stuff like that. So shout out again, give all these folks that are commenting um, a follow because they also have tech channels as well. And I love watching them do their thing. I love watching them engage and it allows me to figure out like, you know what? I need to test that out too. I need that as well. So shout out out to Rome as well and uh, Nelson thank you so much for following oh also Albert Lewis started following I missed that earlier thank you Albert for starting to follow again if you're new here please hit the follow button smash that star button and I go live every Tuesday to talk about tech so make sure you keep joining me back every Tuesday and if you don't have an Amazon account um, we don't discriminate here. I also stream live also on YouTube and Facebook at Technicky Speaking. So, oh, and another thing, yes, Technicky Speaking. So if you, besides product videos, if you want full-blown tutorials on how to edit some of the most, tic, most viral TikTok videos or how I set up my lights or my audio suggestions, I've created and broken down my live streams into smaller bite sizable pieces so if you're looking into um you know more of that kind of content that's on my youtube channel but i do stream live every tuesday and it's literally a live show it's unscripted and i basically talk about all my favorite tech so make sure you follow that as well all right so we talked about all the smart lights all we talked about all the smart lights next that the next camera that is um a prime early access is actually one of my favorite cameras it is the panasonic lumix gh5 I believe this is the mark ii so there's different versions of the gh5 but when the mark ii came out the difference between it is that the gh5 there was an s and i version and it was either pro video or pro video first with inbuilt stabilization but the gh5 mark ii the one that makes it different it does have a two indicated at the bottom i'll show you it is this one right here this is my gh5 um, camera as you can see it's on my floating arm system which I will also share with you about because this has changed my life significantly but this is my Lumix GH5 camera that I use for all my live streams um, the mark II gives it the ability to go live wherever you are hopping off of Wi-Fi I have yet to try that out because every time I utilize my cameras I like to go live in my studio and uh, I rarely go live outside because just internet's always a little spotty so never really totally rely on the live streaming feature from the GH5 but again I have so many videos talking about my journey and my love affair with the Lumix systems because ever since I was a college reporter, um, I remember the GH2 came out and it was the first Micro Four Thirds camera mirrorless system. It was so compact and yet you had focal lengths and quality that I could not even understand because we were working off of the uh, Panasonic HVX DVX camcorders back then and those camcorders were like at least $10,000 and we still shot on mini DV tapes, but we were like, oh, we can 
uh, plug-in quality XLR audio mics and everything, but it's crazy to me how cameras are getting less expensive. Um, it's more for the the user. It's more for a content generation world. So if you are looking for a really solid camera, I will say it's a significant difference from the GH2 days. I skipped the GH3. I got the GH4 because again, if you missed my stream yesterday, the GH4 was one of the first prosumer cameras that allowed users to shoot in 4K before Canon, before Sony, before Nikon. It was the first um, DSLR mirrorless camera that enabled you to also capture video quality at 4K, not just photos. So in the past, a lot of these DSLR cameras were photo first, video second, but I've really started to like the Lumix system because it has been equal in a way of photo and video and they do a lot of their video quality very very well and because it's Panasonic they've had years of putting in other devices that are great for audio so again not, when you when it comes to choosing a camera especially for content creators this is the one most asked question is what camera should I get and before I can even answer it because I don't have a one size fits all and there shouldn't be a one size fits all answer. You have to tell me what you want to do specifically. Um, so, cause there's cameras that do certain things well, like when it comes to low light, the, the Lumix system is getting better, but it's not the best. Like the Sony a7 III, like their low light is insane. So if you're shooting a lot of concerts or in the dark kind of footage, I don't really shoot a lot of indoor footage. Um, and when I do, I have kind of, I bring in lights in order to like light my scene. But if you're doing a lot of concert uh, in the dark shooting, like maybe the Lumix isn't for you. For me, when I first started out as an on-camera reporter, I needed to have a flip screen so I can see myself in the frame. It would, I am a one woman band, so when I would go out and shoot interviews with celebrities, I could never see myself. I'm like, I felt like I was in the frame, but then sometimes I needed to just have a flip screen instead of attaching a big bulky monitor. Also at the time as a college student, I couldn't afford all this kind of gear. So I had to make do, you know, whether it's like putting a mirror in the back of the, the um, viewfinder so I can see myself. But the Lumix GH2 was the only camera that had a flip out screen at the time. Um, so I was like, I guess I'm getting this camera. And then as things just started um, advancing and just getting better and better, the GH5 is now officially my favorite mirrorless camera. It's not considered a DSLR, but it is considered a mirrorless camera. So I definitely have loved the mirrorless camera. Um, but so if you're looking for a really solid mirrorless camera, let's say you're going from a live streaming, but then you want some smart lens. Um, I really like the Lumix GH5. And also, um, it has a flip out screen. I'm able to attach the smart sensor that attaches to XLR audio inputs. So if you want quality interviews, I utilize it as well. Um, and more important than the body is also the lens system that you're going to invest in because it truly is a full on ecosystem, right? So not all lens will fit on all camera bodies, but the Micro Four Third system, the Lumix and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera is also a Four Thirds uh, lens system. So you can actually interchangeably use the lens that you have purchased for the Lumix GH systems with the Blackmagic Pocket 4K Cinema camera. So in that case, you don't have to buy adapters or anything. You can use these lens interchangeably with each other and natively. And so again, it's also the glass. And so again, when people ask, what camera should I buy? You got to consider all these things. And I really want a quality audio. And that was another thing. I needed a camera that had a 3.5 millimeter mic jack or a headphone jack at the same time so I can monitor my audio. A lot of these photo first cameras didn't have that. So it really allowed me to gravitate towards what I needed. But I've shot a couple of short films on the GH4 and now with the GH5, it shoots up to 6K photos. Um, you also have like streaming abilities of 1080, uh, 60, 1080p 60. You also have 4K modes. You also have a variable frame rate, which allows you to just put it in slow motion. Um, and then you have Wi-Fi ability to go live stream. So 
it's everything. And the one thing for us product reviewers out there, I showed this demonstration yesterday, but paired with one of my favorite lens, the 12 to 35 millimeter lens, which I have here next to my carousel, it allows me to really um, use the smart focus. So right now it's following me and it knows where I am, but if I were to say, oh, and then look at this product, it will automatically refocus to whatever I have in front of it, and then it can come back to me. So that is something that I was never really able to do with my prime lens, but bless my prime lens, the Voigt Lender 17.5 millimeter like lens. It allows me to have beautiful bokeh and blurred out edges in the background, but when it comes to doing fast live stream, product reviews, makeup tutorials, when you're showing all of these things and you do that little hand motion, <laughs> I totally get it now, but it's like super, super amazing um, to utilize this. So I really, I think I've said a lot about one of my favorite cameras that I use, and I'm so glad that you guys get to finally see my star in action um, behind the camera. But this is my beauty, and I actually have another one because I have a GH4 in the back. So the GH4 is what you're seeing this on, and then the GH5 is what you're seeing my face on. So yeah, it's just been... I really, really like it. But yeah, <laughs> how are we doing in the chat, y'all? I'm just gonna like say hello again because I have it on my the iPad here, but I also have it on my screen on my desktop. So I just wanted to make sure we're all good. Nelson made it this afternoon. Rich is in the house. Roman's in the house. Mark Clean started following. Thank you so much, Mark, for following. I appreciate you. You're awesome. Hope to see you every Tuesday when I go live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And let me know what kind of deals you all have come across on. Please put it in the comments. I haven't really had a chance to like catch a lot of other streams, but I. That's the reason why I did mine early, so then I have the rest of the day to like shop other Prime Early Access deals. So if you've come across a couple of fun products you think I can utilize in here, or maybe those who are viewing, uh, please let me know in the chat um, what you've been seeing because I'd love to like check that out as well and review it. And again, the cool thing about being a tech channel is I get approached by a lot of tech brands to like review their stuff. And so it gives me a way to really play with it and share with you so you don't have to buy it. Uh, you can make your own decisions about it. You have the purchasing power. So uh, yeah, let me know what you've been coming across and what you think I should test out next or what you'd be interested to learn more about so you don't have to spend your hard earned dollar. I will <laughs> because I can probably utilize it for my set. So I'll write it off as a business expense. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, the Panasonic Lumix GH5 was the camera that I was talking about right here in this one and the lens that I was talking about if you just wanted to get it specifically, is the Lumix G X Vario 1.2, and it's a 12 to 35 millimeter. 12 because it can zoom in, and I'll show you. So right now, this is, I'm gonna just zoom in, some, oh my gosh, this is like so, so much. But it's really nice to like keep my, you can see everything, but I just like cutting off my little sundial mirror in the background, so yeah. So that lens allows me to, also pair with the GH5 system, which is a smart lens system. So you know what I was doing between the focal point, that together is the beast of a smart lens that is part of the Lumix brand and the GH5 camera in itself. But if you already have the body or another GH5 or a GH4 or the GH series, and you already have uh, the body, then yeah, this is just the lens. So that's another thing too, for those who are new into content creation, um, what I was talking about before was just the body, the GH5, right? So there's always the camera and then there's the lens when it comes to interchangeable lens. You can get a lot of pocket cameras where the lens doesn't come off, so uh, you wouldn't be getting it for this reason. But specifically for the GH series, you can purchase the body separately because really the long game is the glass that you collect over time or the lens that you collect over time because you can interchange them um, out. So the GH5 paired with this Panasonic Lumix G 12 to 35 millimeter lens, love it, perfection. And if you don't have either of the two and you wanna get both, I just put it in here, but the one that was on Prime Early Access Sale was just the GH5 body alone. But if you wanna get packaged systems, you can totally do that as well. 
Alrighty, so I did want to talk about this again. I talked about, I started with this first yesterday and I totally forgot that I didn't press record on my last stream. So what I was trying to do is cut out the part where I was assembling this newer photography dolly situation. Then I could just incorporate it into the stream, but uh, that didn't happen. So what had happened was um, this newer photography uh, dolly, Game changer. Um, if Rocky's still here, because I know that she has a live stream to go on, I talked about this extensively about how this dolly for a lot of one person bands out there who are covering conventions like CES or NAB or Cinegar Expo. Basically, if there's a flat surface and you're going booth to booth and you are orchestrating your entire production, you are the cinematographer, videographer, director, editor, producer, marketing person, and also the on camera host or the on-camera host, um, this has it changed my life. It's been a game changer. So it is on Prime Early Access Deal. It's the newer photography one. For those of you who are just tuning in, if you're watching on your mobile device, it's on the bottom of the screen and or to the left of your computer screen. But this newer photography, this is the case because what had happened was I assembled it yesterday it's so easy to assemble, but right now I have my tripod on this. I was able to just move my camera around however I wanted it, lock the wheels, and this is how I'm able to get this steady shot right here, right now. Um, so I'm very grateful because having an extra, oops, I just dropped something. Oop, yep, 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 yep. I just dropped something and I did not want to, um, yeah, I just threw my newer bag on there. Oh, bombs away. Um, but yeah, so I would say if you're looking to make any of your stationary tripods or three-legged gear stands movable, um, this was amazing. So at NAB show, I was able to utilize this dolly and turn my stationary tripod into a moving like station. So I already had my camera set up, my audio set up. I purchased one of those Sunstone sand weight bag things and I Velcroed it to the sides of my uh, tripod so I can create a little pouch so I can put my mic on it when I was moving it around so it's not just falling all over the place as I'm rolling this. But it truly was an all-in-one moving machine. I got a lot of looks because I don't think everybody else had was doing it by themselves or they were maybe filming on their iPhones or their their smartphones so but when I do like interviews I definitely want to have my GH5 paired up with my XLR onboard Panasonic smart audio system and now I am able to like utilize it in such a way and I also have a flip out screen so I don't need to attach a monitor to it so when I flip out the screen and I, can, and I have my camera already set up on my rig, my rig already set up on my tripod, and then I put the tripod and the whole system on rolling wheels, and I'm able to go from booth to booth and just push it with ease and just have it at the same level and height. And my, the tripod that I utilize is very, very light, but I do have like a little, <laughs> what do you call those, cranks? that allow the camera to move up and down. So if I'm interviewing someone who is taller than me, I'm able to do that right away without having to adjust the legs. But for the most part, I have it at a certain height and angle. So I'm able to really um, not have to touch it. And if they happen to be really, really tall, I usually try to find two benches anyways, or two chairs, so we're at the same height. Um, that way it's not like, I'm just like, hello. Cause yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of tall folks at these convention centers and it's really hard to go from low to high constantly. That's why also I've enjoyed the standing sitting desk because I'm standing right now, but I can go straight into a sitting position pretty easily. Um, actually, I'll just demonstrate it now. I didn't have it in my carousel because it wasn't on a uh, prime, but yeah, this is how it looks like when it's going down. This is my area. You can see my air condition when I turn it off. But yeah, so we, we are sitting now. Um, but yeah, I was able to sit and my camera is able to stay the same um, because of this reason. So I'm going to skip around because now that I've been talking about it and now that you can see it from behind, 
Um, I'm going to talk about this selfie desk setup by Viazon. So right now, the camera, my GH5, has been on a floating arm system for my standing desk. Now, the thing about my standing desk is it's pretty narrow, but it's wide. So it's probably about, I think it was five feet because there was a choice between the five feet or the, uh, the 60 inches or 72 inches. So I chose the 60 inch one or the five feet one, right? So um, I, um, it's, it's narrow. So I don't want to just leave everything all over my desk. I needed to bring up my laptops and my screens and my monitors so I can put things underneath like papers or maybe my phone and it can maximize kind of like the vertical layout of my desk. So I got the standing desk. But what do I do on top of that? I had all these cameras on tripods everywhere and it was taking up more space in my studio. So this floating arm system literally was a aha moment for me. And right now it is 26% off, but this selfie a desktop four in one floating arm system has been a game changer for me. I know I utilize that word a lot, but when I find great gear and great products that other content creators can use, I'm definitely sharing. So let me bring this back up um, because I had the camera, camera two set up where you can actually see sort of the floating arm system. So I'm gonna do this, but this is what I mean by the floating arm system. So here, here's this part, here's this arm right here. This was as much as I can zoom out on uh, my other camera. Unfortunately, I have a different lens on that, but this is my computer. Move these around. But yeah, you can set up this floating arm system however you like, but I will say that first of all, this is really high quality material. It's not super plastic. I would say the only thing plastic about it is the encasing because for those of us who are very into cable management, I do love the fact that there are these hidden arm bars that have allow you to slide it off and um, hide the cable. So actually, I don't know if you can see it from that angle, but I can literally pull this part off like this. Um, and see how the cable just drops like that, but I want to hide the cable. So not only is this four in one floating arm system like very solid, it's a beast and holding the weight of my camera, my boom mic, my laptop, um, but it also does a really great job of wiring. So even the little tips at the top, there's these little pieces, clip pieces that let me pull it off without breaking a nail. But there's these clip pieces. Here, let me come back to this one. There's these clip pieces. Oh, yeah, let me do the product. There's these clip pieces that hook on that you can put the cord here and it'll attach to the floating arm. So it's been such a smart system. So I'm just gonna like put it back. So I have this wire here. I'm gonna attach that clip and then I'm just gonna put it back up onto this, there's little divots, so you'll know exactly where they go. So I'm gonna hold that, but now this cord's in the way, right? Well, they also have these longer bar arms that allows me to attach it. So I'm just gonna put it back um, just as such, make sure it's in the same area, and then slide it back in. So now you see the wire, now you don't. Um, and then there's this wire here, but I literally took it off because this was connected to my XLR camera, but I'm not using my boom mic right now and I didn't want the wire to get in the way, so I just took it off really quickly and put it down. So I like that it also like holds everything, but that's another thing that's attached to my boom mic, which is right here. Again, this is not the audio I'm using right now. I'm using the Ceramonic Blink 500 B2 wireless audio system. I've been saying it so long, so don't be weirded out. They're like, well, she, that's a mouthful and she remembered it. I've been saying that basically every single one of my streams because everybody's always asking, what kind of audio do you use? So I like, again, the Blink 500. We can get into it in a moment. Um, because it allows me to be wireless when I talk. But yeah, this is the boom mic, uh, which is one of the floating arms. Then I had another floating arm here that allowed me to put my GH4 camera, but I put my GH4 camera over there. But what I did is I was able to hang it off of a 360 ball mount. That way I can get overhead shots of my product. So I'd have this main camera, but then I'd have an overhead camera so I can 
talk about products right here and you can get video there. But for today's purposes, I moved my camera off the newer dolly system that I just talked about and I rolled it over there and locked the wheels in place so I can get this angle today specifically. And then I have a laptop. So I, I can like move my laptop with ease. I could adjust it. I can make it go like, like forward, down. But I have this connected to my widescreen monitor over here because this is where I do all my video editing on this side. So um, this is what it is doing. Um, so I just want to make sure we're good. <laughs> and then we have this right here. So we have the laptop, but we also have the ability to go um, switch them out to tablets. Because in the beginning when I first did this, I actually was using my tablet over here instead. But now that I have a specific wireless keyboard that I'll talk about later too, I'm also able to just put my iPad here where um, it is like that. Um, can you use a monitor on the system? You totally could. I would say it depends. Thank you, Nelson, for that question. Um, it really depends on, uh, I guess, the payload or the weight of the system. I actually have my monitor on a separate floating system because my ultra wide LG monitor is literally super long. It has a 21 by seven ratio. So if I were to put that on one of the arms, it literally would just take too much of my floating system. So I would say for size reference, this is my MacBook Pro, it's 15 inch, right? But I could totally move it right off the side. So initially what I had wanted to do is create content faster and more efficient, where instead of going to an SD card, I can just have everything set up. I could wire my camera straight to my computer and record utilizing OBS straight to my monitor. So I don't, I save time by not taking out the SD card, putting it in my computer and uploading it, then downloading it. It literally is like, let's shoot on site. Let's edit right away. Boom, let's put it up. And in doing so, I was like, let me do a live stream about it. And thus began my whole show of what my show should be about is helping to teach other folks how to do what I've been doing for 12 plus years now at a more efficient pace speed. Um, and I've tried so many gear and products over the years that if I can save you some time and money to like just fast forward all that stuff, I totally will do that as well. But I actually have... Um, just a monitor arm on the right side. That way it allows me to split the C with my camera. Cause as you know, this camera is right in the middle on a floating system. And the cool thing about the floating system is when you pair it up with the Yulanzi tripod ball head, it goes exactly at a full vertigo. So for those of you who want to use your DSLR or mirrorless camera to shoot high quality TikTok videos in vertigo mode, I can leave my camera right here and then with the flip of my ball head monitor, hang my camera a complete vertical. And again, I can just record straight to my computer system. I don't have to take out the SD card. It truly, I've been trying to build the most efficient, useful workhorse, work power station for content creators. And again, having the ability to go from sitting to standing, keeping the camera at the same exact angle, no matter if I go up or down, I don't have to adjust the tripod because it's on a floating arm system. It really has helped increase my workflow to go from work mode to record mode to studio mode and to just like exercise mode. Cause sometimes you can't just be sitting all day or you can't be standing on your feet all day especially as video fellow video editors we can be at our desk and our chair so long and especially if you're working home remotely this was a way to also like make it more fun for me to be in my space like this feels like a little spaceship to me and so if i'm gonna be here for the majority of the time when I'm at home, I want to make it nice. I want to make it clean. I want to feel like, ah, oh, I really like the setup of this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can use the monitor on the floating system, but I would just say it just depends. But they do give you a, a monitor, you know, the four prong monitor arm that you can screw in. They do come with that. So I definitely love this selfie setup. So. Again, you have four arms, but you can interchange them. It doesn't have to be exactly how I have it. You can put your camera on a different arm or you can put like, you can make this three cameras. But for my 
a specific setup, I have my main camera, my overhead camera, then I have my boom mic arm. So anytime I decide to go on camera, I just pull it down and then I can get it out of view. And let me actually show you, because this is my boom mic right here, right? So here is my main camera. You don't see it, but then if I wanted to bring it down even further, this is where you'll start seeing it, right? So you'll see the boom arm here. This is what it looks like right here. It's covering my face right here, but this is literally a boom mic right in front of my face. And then if I won't, don't want it out of the frame, I can literally just, you know, tweak it. I don't have to adjust anything like C stands because those get really heavy. What I wanted to do is eliminate the amount of tripods and C stands and light stands that I had on my floor. Also the standing desk, I purchased the wheel. So not only does the standing desk sit and stand like automatically and saves the presets from sitting to standing to be at the right height for me, I also put this on wheels. Right now it's locked, but if I unlocked it, I can move anywhere, this whole system, because my tray of all my electricity is right underneath the bottom of my standing desk. So I can literally unplug from the wall and move it uh, anywhere I want. So if I wanted to not have this background, I could literally just switch it around and have my other background, which I was contemplating at one point to just put a green screen on the other side of my wall and then my light stands just move that way. So being able to have it movable is a game changer. Nelson says, wheels on the sit stand desk is a game changer. I have that too. Awesome. I cannot express how uh, game changing having things on wheels is because sit stand desks are super heavy. Um, I'm also very fortunate that I'm I have like hardwood floor because I can't imagine rolling it on carpet, but I'm glad that at least it rolls. But it has made me this whole one person setup so much easier and lighter for me. Um, because if, if I had to constantly change up my set every time I wanted to shoot and record, it would be so cumbersome that I wouldn't want to like shoot anymore, right? So again, this is what my four in one arm system has done. They give you all the, the everything that you need. They even give you a ring light, but I don't use a ring light because I use my studio lights, but this kit came with everything you needed. I did not need to source or purchase anything outside of the kit. The only thing I will say, disclaimer, that I purchased outside was the specific Ulanzi um, ball head tripod. It's like one of my favorite uh, tripod uh, adapters ever. I didn't put it in my <laughs> thing. But if you go onto my store site, which is this one, folks, Amazon.com shop Nikki Sun, um, I have playlists so beyond live stream or just you know the early access prime early access deals um, i have already list curated of all my filmmaking gear all my live streaming gear all my desk setup gear so instead of feeling like you have to like sit through the whole thing or you forgot like oh man i wish i could just buy the whole list you can do that and I would totally appreciate if you did because it supports my channel at no additional cost to you. So just letting you know, if you do purchase anything um, through my store, um, it, does, it doesn't it does charge you anymore. And a part of that commission goes back to continue to support my channel and supports helping me go live and continue to share this knowledge and product knowledge that I have. So really would appreciate um, you doing that. Um, all right, Johnny. Two monitor streams is better or three or four it's stress. I'm, I'm not quite sure what you said there, but are you asked also, are you using an L-shaped desk? I am not using an L-shaped desk. It actually is, um, like it has a little curve right here. So it allows me to roll my chair and come as close as possible. But yeah, for the most part, it's rectangular, but the back and the front just has a little divot for style and a little curve. And you can also get this desk in multiple colors. So it doesn't have to be just white. Um, it is, you know, mahogany or brown or black. But as a product reviewer, a lot of my gear and products are black. So in order for it to show up on the screen, I usually want to put like a 
a different color background. So the white allows it to pop, right? You can totally see that I'm wearing my Ceremonic Blink 500 B2 kit because I'm wearing a white shirt. So this is why I did that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, if you need a floating, floating arm system in your life, if you have a standing desk, it's super sturdy. The clamps at the bottom of this four-in-one desk, um, you can really just tighten it. But yeah, I would say that. So go for that. Mm -hmm. All right, just checking the chat. Yes, the vest amount. Yes, Nelson. Okay, Johnny is asking, is my stream had wonky issues on yesterday? Okay, I thought you were saying that I was, my stream quality was horrible today and I was freaking out about it because I'm like, I can see myself, I can hear myself, the chat's going live, it's not freezing, so I'm like, not quite sure what you're experiencing. And to be honest, I am plugged into the ethernet today um, and I was plugged into the ethernet yesterday. So hopefully it's not wonky, Johnny, but... Um, I feel, if anything, it's been the most steady I've had in a while. Um, if anything, I was just trying to do a little too much yesterday. So I was clicking on the wrong thing. So let me know if it's still a little wonky over there. But yeah, this is like a little mid-break for me. Um, I wanted to share again that outside of just talking about products, I do talk about how to edit your videos, how to edit some of the top viral TikTok videos um, straight from your computer or straight from your phone. So if you want any tech tutorials or further explanation besides just talking about products, because that's not exactly what I aim to do, um, I want to help you learn how to set it up. So I have taken segments from my live streams when I talk about it extensively or have filmed one-off videos on my YouTube channel. So if you didn't know, I do have a YouTube channel called Technically Speaking. And this live stream, I usually go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. to talk about technology and how you can utilize all this kind of content in your life. So I would appreciate a sub over there and also a follow on Amazon just so we can be tech besties. And if you have ever any, if you ever have any questions about how to set up something or maybe you were thinking about certain things, ask me because you never know, I might have friends who have that exact system and then I can direct you to the right person or maybe in fact I've had it and I didn't really like the product, that's why it never ended up on my channel. So I have all these different ways of getting in contact with me. So definitely don't hesitate in reaching out and um, you can totally slide into my DMs respectfully on tech related questions on my Instagram, Technically Speaking. So I'm Technically Speaking everywhere. I'm also Nikki Sun everywhere. Okay. <laughs> All right. Johnny says, you're clear now. I know some creator on Amazon had issues too. Yeah, I think I'm good right now. It's also a different time about bandwidth. I noticed that when I go live at seven, I feel like usually everybody's off work and so everybody's on Netflix and usually my internet connection is a little bit slower at that time. So this is again the first time that I'm live streaming at noon on a Wednesday in the middle of the week during a popular um, two-day exclusive sale that Amazon Prime is doing exclusively for their members. So. There's a lot of factors at play here. Um, so just throwing it out there for those of you who are a little intimidated by live streaming, I would just say, ask me. I also have a playlist on my storefront page. So anything that I use for my live stream setup, it's all listed over there. So like all this gear that you see right here, <laughs> um, everything that I use is listed in my Amazon store for the most part. There's some gear that I like did not get on Amazon you know, like BH Photo or Adorama or, you know, Sammy's camera specifically for tech gear. But for the most part, I was able to find at least um, something comparable or at least the same product on Amazon. Alrighty. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was, oh, since I'm right here anyways, let's talk about the Ceramotic Blink 500 because it's been a while actually. I used to talk about this all the time, but then the last couple of streams, I actually haven't talked about it. And even though it's not a prime early access deal, it still is 33% off than its original price. So I just wanted to talk about it because yeah, I figured why not? Because it is actually the audio system I am using right now, but it comes in black and also snow white. So a lot of the times, 
when we're doing live streams, I wanted something that would be wireless. And I'm able to plug in a lavalier mic on this one so you don't see it as much, but I, for some reason, I feel like I like the ca on camera microphone on this little guy a lot better than the lavalier. Um, so that's one thing. There is a mic line in so you can attach like an actual clip on mic or a lavalier and you can hide this in your back. There is a clip right here, so it allows you to clip it anywhere. It also is the same size as a standard shoe mount. So sometimes when I have things like, let me use this, if I want to record audio utilizing my Joby and the phone system, there is a shoe mount right here, right? And then I'm able to just link that like right there and it becomes like this shoe mount and I can like aim it towards my face if I wanted to. So I'm going to put this here because it reminds me that my favorite tripod of all time is a deal. So I'm going to put this back on so you can hear more consistent audio. But um, it comes in this case and I would say most of you might be more familiar maybe with the Rode Wireless Go system, but I'm going to tell you why I'm utilizing the Ceramonic Blink 500 system. So the one thing as an on-camera interviewer and live streamer is I need two mics or two transmitters or two TX. So for those of you who are new to the audio game, you usually get a transmitter and a receiver when it comes to wireless audio. It's kind of like a walkie-talkie in a way. However, the receiver is the one that gets plugged into whatever is receiving the audio. So sometimes the receiver can be placed on top of your camera, the GH5, which I have, it's in my carousel, or the receiver can be placed on your YOLO box or your encoder, which is receiving the audio. The transmitter, you can also do, also known as, or AKA the microphone, this is the transmitter. So I am transmitting my audio or sending signal from my end to the receiver. So when you have systems or sets, when it says you get two transmitters, one receiver, the cool thing about that, that is different from Ceremonic and the wireless Go system or the Rode system is that you can have two microphones. So two people can be speaking at once or two audio subjects or let's just say this went down because like it has a charge of 10 hours and for some reason if I'm talking more than 10 hours and it goes down, I can literally turn this on and I now have another 10 hours worth. So if you do a lot of live streaming and you're worried about the battery length, like you could also use the two and one receiver by yourself or if you're doing an on-camera interview and you want the audio to just sync with the video and you don't have to fix it in post, because I used to do a lot of my audio in post, but I still do it as well because I always want to record two sources of audio just in case for some reason something goes down. Also, sometimes with the wireless um, lavaliers, you can hear a little crackling or there's like some cracks, but so sometimes it doesn't work that way. But for live streaming, it has been great because I'm able to be hands-free. I'm not connected to any wires. I can literally turn around or walk to my kitchen when I forget my glass of water and you'll still be able to hear me wherever I go because this is the transmitter, right? Or even if you're singing or playing something, right? You can put this audio transmitter near your guitar and then you can still have this up here so that way you can still hear your voice and your guitar. And at the same time, it's catching it all on the live stream because you have two sources of audio. So the thing about it is when the Rode Wireless Go first came out, it only gave one transmitter, one receiver. So it's fine if you're a one person band and you don't have any like anticipation of bringing on a second interviewing subject or a second audio source. But for those of you who are trying to like do that with interviews. I was seeing all these videos of how you can kind of hack the system by getting two different splitters, but then you'd have to purchase two different wireless Go systems. And by the time you purchase two of those, which you only get one receiver, one transmitter each, you're actually spending a lot more money than a system that already just has it built in. So I would say that's the reason why I went with Ceremonic is because um, they gave me like an option to have two transmitters, one receiver at the start. I didn't have to like source everything. And plus it comes with all the tools you need. I will say um, the other brands that I've worked with, they don't include all the cables. So a lot of the times my friends were like, 
I'm trying to plug it into my phone or my adapter, but it's not picking up the audio. And I realized it's because you need a TRRS cable to TRS cable. And what comes in those packages sometimes is just the TRS to TRS cable. And before you all go, what the heck are you talking about? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, so I have my TRS to TRS and TRRS. Perfect. So I have so many of these cords, by the way. So if anybody ever needed a spare, just let me know. Um, that's the great thing is I can usually interchange cable. So if you are like a filmmaker or a gear product reviewer, you probably have all these cords. This might not be a thing to you, but if you're first time a creator and you're just trying to make sure things work, it'd be nice if the, you know, the manual told you, by the way, the cord that you need to hook up audio to make it work on your phone is not included and you have to buy it separately. Right? So, um, how I've explained it before in my TikTok videos. So I also do a lot of tech educational videos on my TikTok. They're like 15 seconds, one minute long. Um, you have these cords that allow you to connect your receiver to your phone, your computer, your tablet, your camera. And this is a TRS to TRS cable. So let me see if I can like have you guys zoom in on this. But here we go. Let me do this. But for short, for those of us who've been on my stream before, we know that it is the, oh, let me go this way. It is the cable with the two black lines to the two black lines. So this allows you to connect to your camera, to your computer, to your tablet, anything that has a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. So you could even put this in your headphone jack on iPads, um, your computer, you can put this there too. Um, but this is the TRS to TRS cable. This specifically goes into my camera, my Lumix in the mic jack. And then I would just plug the receiver into this. And so that's how you're able to connect your receiver to your camera or whatever device is that receiving audio. But for instance, if you have a phone that has a headphone jack and you want to capture audio, you can't use the TRS to TRS cable because it is not meant to receive the audio. Phones have a very different system. It's a little bit more complicated, but the TRS T to TRRS cable, you'll note the difference because this one actually has three lines. Do you see the three lines? So this is the TRRS N. That's how you know the difference between the three lines and the two lines. So you need the specific cable. And a lot of these companies don't throw in this cable because first of all, I think also the headphone jack is becoming a little obsolete on smartphones everything's now Bluetooth, but I would say there's still not like a really perfect audio system. So I'm able to still capture audio on my phone. Um, I don't have a headphone jack anymore, but a lot of the iPhones, they come with lightning adapters or adapters that go into a um, headphone jack. So if whatever headphone jack input that you have, the one with the three lines, the TRRS side would go into your phone. So if you ever wanted to capture wireless audio to your phone, like you're doing TikTok live, Instagram live, um, and you have this specific B2 kit from Ceramonic, you're able to actually utilize it. It's the most universal. So Ceramonic has like multiple kits specifically for iPhone, specifically for Android, but this B2 kit specifically is meant for your DSLR. And because it's meant for the DSLR, it has so many more connectors and cables that are included that you don't have to buy. You don't have to source. They provide you both the TRS to TRS and the TRS to TRRS cable in these packages. On top of that, the case is wireless. So, uh, well not, I mean, it has a charging case so I can put all my devices when I'm done with it into this case. You can see that it's still on and you can see that it's charged all the way. It, you can charge everything together utilizing the USB-C port in the back. It takes about two hours to charge, but then this case then lasts for 10 hours. So when you take it off, this becomes like a portable wireless charging case. So you just throw it in your bag and then I just hook it up. And the great thing too is you can put all your devices here. If you ever worry about it unpairing, which is not going to, you don't have as many options per se, but once you recognize your um, channel, it'll work. But if you ever get to a point where one of them is not syncing for whatever reason, 
there is a pair button on here. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's because it's kind of dark, but it's, um, there's a pair button. So you can hold on to it and it'll automatically sync and pair all the transmitters to your receivers within this box. So you'll be able to charge everything, pair everything, and then basically it works right out of the box. You know, so you just got to get the right cord, the right cable. Now you know the difference between the TRS and the TRS and the TRRS cable, but that's just a little, little noggin. But I do actually have a full on video on my YouTube channel and also my Amazon page on how to set up your Ceremonic to your camera. So if you have any more questions, you purchased it and you're like, what does she say about it again? I actually have a segment um, on YouTube. So you can go on my YouTube channel and I have a video on how to do just that. So if you do end up purchasing your first wireless audio system, which is the same exact one I've been using in all my live streams so far, um, again, because it's wireless, I'm able to move around and I don't have to get caught in the wires. This is great for on-camera teaching, classrooms, live streams. Um, you know, anytime you're like playing like games too, you can do that, but you know, you need a headset. But I feel for the most part, this is really great for educators, um, especially in our remote Zoom teaching world, but, and also for live streams. So I would say you can do that. Johnny asks, can Ceremonic connect to any laptop? I mean, as long as there's a 3.5 millimeter jack. And also what um, Ceremonic has is they also sell uh, wireless receivers that are USB or lightning based. You just have to make sure you get it. So if you want something that just plugs directly into the side of your computer, you can utilize the USB-C receiver. So Ceremonic has these little devices that you just plug into the bottom of your phone or into the side of your computer or your tablet if you want wireless audio to work with your device. Um, if you don't wanna purchase an extra accessory because it is an additional purchase, you can still get away with utilizing these adapters that they've already included in the bag, but you just have to have the adapter. So for iPhone users, I believe, I, I'm not an iPhone user, so if you are an iPhone user, I know that there was an adapter that they included from a Lightning to a headphone jack input, but again, I feel like it's becoming a little bit obsolete. Everything's moving towards Bluetooth now, so I'm not quite sure that's in there anymore, but this is only if you wanted to purchase one kit from Ceremonic that is the most universal. That is the one that I have in my carousel. It is, again, the Ceremonic Blink 500 B2 Pro kit specifically. But if you want it for your phone or your Android or anything in particular, they have so many other um, packages or bundles that you can utilize as well. So I'm gonna put that over here. All righty. And then again, so that was a black one and there's also the snow white one. So for instance, if you're doing like weddings and stuff, you can do that. But speaking of audio, I know this is kind of a competitor, but it is, my absolute favorite audio recording device. So before I get back into our deals, the next thing that I have is the Tascam mini portable PCM non-linear um, microphone. So it's the DR10L, but this is the first thing I ever purchased um, because when I first started doing videos, I wanted to capture quality audio. We didn't have these wireless systems. So I was willing to go on the back end and sync it later. So what we do is like, well, sound clap and then in post that audio mark is where we would sync the audio and match it up to the video. And then the audio would match the video, right? With these wireless systems, I don't have to do anything in post, but there are some issues where latency becomes an issue. Like if I'm live streaming and my audio doesn't match my video, it's because we, we don't have the same fine tuning <laughs> capabilities of getting the audio to be exactly perfect, but that's where you have other audio devices that are not wireless come in to basically take the cake when it comes to quality professional audios. Like I wouldn't utilize this wireless system when I'm recording like full on interviews, but live streaming is perfect. But however, if you want quality audio, where like your subject is also impressed by what you're putting on them. Um, this is one of the first ones. And I will say, 
I purchased this because a really trusted member of the tech filmmaking world that I look up to, Cheesy Cam. So M from Cheesy Cam, shout out. Um, he was like one of the first people that like had even understood affiliate marketing back then and also showed me how to like set up everything I needed for camera gear. But I was about to record i needed an audio device because my brother was about to propose to his now wife and they have like like the cutest kid now so they have a little family now but my, my brother was about to propose to my now sister-in-law he wanted to record the audio on him but he, we needed a small device right um like a lot of the times you see these recorders like i will say the first recorder i got was the zoom h4n which is a massive massive beast right like this cannot fit in a pocket it's like literally here's my phone for reference but like it literally is this massive thick thick with two c's of a brick <laughs> um, and this was great because i could plug in two xlrs so growing up when i was doing on-camera interviews i would just plug in my handheld mic to this and record my audio separately sound clap and then sync and post i have a video of that on my youtube as well but let's just say i like my brother could not put this in his pocket, okay? So here's a size difference. This is the Zoom H4n, very, very common in the filmmaking world. It's probably everybody's first like Zoom recorder. But then you have the Tascam DR10L and it comes in this really nice pouch, first of all. And I've kept it in its original <laughs> packaging for the long time because I do like to keep my things nice. So it comes with this little device portable device recorder okay it's super small so here's the size difference um but yet it can do the same thing and so much more obviously the biggest difference is this is not meant for xlr input but this was able to sit on my brother's belt or pocket so there is like a belt clip it's a wired belt clip, so I don't know if you can see that, but there is a wired belt clip right there. And then on the back, it's operated by one AAA battery that allows this device to last for up to 10 hours. So one AAA battery goes in here. You also have your SD card slot. So yes, the audio is being all recorded on this like tiny little SD card. I'm gonna go this way so it doesn't see my face but it's like, <laughs> here's a tiny SD card area, okay? And um, I'm putting it in here. And then um, what's missing now is the mic source. So also included is a really high quality lavalier mic and it makes sure that, you know, it has a safe lock. And then look at that. Look at this lavalier mic. It's so quality, I'm like my face is there, but like it's so quality. It like clips and um, you can even twist off this little cat. That's how quality it is, okay? But I'm able to put this right here and then twist it. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to get some water. I've been talking for over an hour straight. But yeah, so that you put the mic in the lavalier or the DR10L and you have yourself, you can wire it up now you can record audio straight to this device and sync it up later. And depending on what modes you use, let me turn it on actually. Let me turn this on though. So. All right, so you can see the LCD screen, which I love. And when you do it, there's menus like mic gain, um, low cut limiter, auto level, FS sample, file type. But there's this one mode called dual recording. Ouch, I just banged my elbow onto the side of the table. But um, let me see if I can get that to focus. Maybe not, I'm not quite sure if I can get it to focus because it's like super, super tiny. Okay, anyways, just trust me. Number eight on the function is dual recording. This is like one of the greatest features on any audio device that I, I know of, okay? So when you're in dual recording, it records two files of audio, one at a higher gain and one at a safe gain. So in post-production and when you pull up the files, you're gonna have like 
audio sample underscore zero and audio sample underscore one. It's the same exact audio, but it's recorded in two different mic level gains. So if one peaks for whatever reason, you have a backup now that didn't peak. So if you're really looking for quality audio for your interviews, um, or let's say like you're doing a whole bunch of package content, you can go, you know, you don't have to be, the thing about wireless audio is you have to be somewhat close to your, your camera, right? But let's just say you want quality audio, um, you don't have to worry about any interference or like it disconnecting or static. I would definitely go with something more professional like the Tascam DR10L, especially with the eight uh, feature, the dual recording. Oh my gosh, it has saved my audio uh, life, uh, my interviews time and time again. And again, when you do record interviews, I would always suggest getting two sources of audio. The on-camera mic for, or your onboard mic for your cameras is never good. Um, you're always gonna get this echo and stuff, so I would never really utilize that. I would, in for instance, attach a different audio um, to your camera, maybe even not the wireless, the ceremonic, but I would say a different audio device. So what I would do is I currently have my XLR um, on board the Panasonic, I'm forgetting the model of this, I think it's the SRM1, but I have an XLR, so I can have like an actual handheld situation that I can control the mic, but then I can place this on my subject and place one of these on me just in case you always want backup audio because you can never redo those interviews. And when you're doing interviews for like longer than an hour, can you imagine just doing your entire interview and then the audio is just shot? And I've talked about this a lot. I do a lot of uh, classes on audio and video 101. That's actually how I met I Justine, actually. She's one of my tech hero idols. But um, I did a class on audio 101. But most people are willing to sit through horrible video quality more than horrible audio. If I was peaking right now and the sound was just really not good, I'm pretty sure you just like click off, right? So audio is very important. Um, if you're going to invest into anything in your content creation journey, uh, definitely think about audio first because um, the video quality on your smartphones is like literally like will do. The cinematic modes on a lot of the new smartphones is like amazing. The pro features, so literally you get my drift. The video has stepped up significantly, but the audio on a lot of the devices have not. So if anything I could recommend when in your content creation journey, like you want to level up your game, it's really beyond lighting and video, it's definitely 100% audio. So consider that. I mean, you have to put a little bit more work into it because when you record all the audio to the SD card, the micro SD card, you have to upload it to your computer, download the files, and you know, sync it with the video and your audio. But again, the trick to do that, that's free, is a hand clap. You know, so go in front of your video camera so you know where the hand claps and then you smack it. And then in the file, you're going to see the spike and you just put M for marker. And then when you look at your video footage, you can literally frame by frame, get it to the point where your hand clap is right here and mark it M. And then in post, when you go to Final Cut or Adobe Promo Premiere, Premiere Pro, I like literally was dyslexic on that one, but um, you can match the markers by clicking the nudge button and you can literally sync up the video with the audio and therefore going from that time, you're able to like take off the audio from the onboard camera or whatever you have and then just bring up the volume on the audio. So you get quality audio, quality video um, every single time, no mistake. So that's how I personally love doing my professional videos outside of live streams. But again, um, the Tascam DR10L, one of my first on you know camera professional quality microphones that I ever got. I still use it to this day. I, I even bought a pur I purchased a second one because I loved it so much. This is actually very common in the wedding industry. Um, so shout out to my girlfriend, Abby, who is now married, but I was one of her bridesmaids and literally the videography, the videographer team had the same exact devices. I knew exactly how to utilize it. Um, and so I was tasked with the beautiful ability to, can you mic the bride up? You know, they had this in white, so it matches more. But you know, you just put it up and then you just wire the mic and you stick it in the solarplex area, 
you know, so you can have quality audio. You just mic it up that way. But yeah, you're able to get quality audio um, wherever you are, uh, and it's a backup. So, you know, when you're getting wedding videography and all that stuff, um, it's definitely something to consider. Um, and it's like, or even secret proposals, it is a nice way to make sure that your audio is solid. And make sure you put it in function eight record or dual recording mode. That way you get two sources of audio and you never have to worry about all of that. So yeah, that's one of my favorite. I know I spent so much time on that one, but it truly is one of my favorite audio devices um, to date. And just because I'm here, because I was talking about SanDisk, so that micro SD card was SanDisk brand. There is a deal of the day today, which this just blows my mind of how big of a deal it is. But the SanDisk two terabyte extreme SSD is 65% off right now. And you, if you don't want two terabytes, they have it in 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, and they also have a four terabyte, I believe. So if you click on the deal of the day, just make sure underneath that drop down menu to make sure you're getting the correct product that you um, signify which one it is. But I could not believe it. I'm like, I might need to get a couple of these. Um, so SSD drives are amazing. Now that our cameras are being higher in terms of resolution and recording, like we're starting to see 8K quality footage, like become a, a, a thing. But you know, knowing that YouTube really is just okay now with 4K. Um, there's also certain things that do not need to be in 4K, like these live streams do not need to be in 4K. Um, well, first of all, Amazon only allows a max of 720 anyway, so um, I don't have to worry about that with this. But there are cameras now, like I was talking about before, like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera, you can record instead of an SD card, so like I have my SanDisk and my Samsung, but instead of recording to an SD card on the specific filmmaking cameras, you can actually record straight to a SSD or solid state drive now. It has way more speeds. It's like a mini built-in RAM processor that is silent with no moving parts. And you can also store up to two terabytes. So these SD cards that I have currently record up to 256 gigabytes, you know? So that's like a solid like, maybe two hours of 4K video uh, that I can like record onto my DSLR or my mirrorless camera on my GH5. But if you get something like an SSD drive, you can, you have two terabytes. So if you wanted to shoot an 8K or 4K, you'd have way more space to do so. So you'd be able to get a lot of the quality video content uh, right to your SSD drive. And then you could also double it up as an external hard drive if you wanted to. So right now when I'm utilizing it, um, so it's, um, yeah. Well, I don't know. My thing is saying that it's actually less than that. So is it more than that then? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more than, um, yeah, that's insane. Thank you for doing the math for me, Richard. I literally have been just talking and like staring at numbers all day. So I appreciate that. And because I can't say prices, I appreciate that so much, Richard. So if you look at Richard's comment, you're seeing how much you're saving on that SanDisk two terabyte extreme portable SSD right now that is 65% off for this exclusive Amazon two day prime early access sale that ends tonight. So Again, if you're looking for uh, ways to move your files off your computer, if you're looking for a way to shoot higher quality content or just more without having to switch out SD cards, consider getting an SSD. Um, I always operate and edit off my SSD drive, especially when I travel. So when I'm on a plane, um, I actually just bring my SSD drive now. Gone are the days where you need those bulky ones that need to be plugged into an electric outlet. There are connectors now that you can um, plug directly straight into your computer, like USB-C. So I only work with USB-C because, you know, your girl hates dongles. So if I have to plug in like a USB-C hub adapter in order for me to plug in like a USB-A drive to my MacBook Pro, I'd be, you know, it wouldn't be very efficient. It'd just be me and the, on the airplane with my little <laughs> stand and all these dongles are coming off, right? So 
Um, in a way, I should talk to you about my whole editing system when I'm on an airplane. But right now, I just get a whole bunch of these SSD drives. I've worked with many, many brands. So right now, I'm just saying the SanDisk is the one that is the deal of the day. Okay, so if you need one, go grab it. But I also work off of my Kingston 2 terabyte. Um, I work off my Samsung T5s, the T7. So I literally have so many SSD drives now, but it loads up way faster. It reads and writes of up to speeds of 1,000 megabytes per second, way faster than just plugging in an old, um, you know, other drive. I won't say brand names, but um, your other how it used to be so they're getting smaller and smaller the capacity is getting larger and larger and the systems to read and write are getting faster and faster so um if you're at home don't can't purchase another computer this is what i would recommend if you don't want to purchase a brand new computer or a brand new macbook or a brand new acer or whatever get yourself an ssd drive and put all of your major working fire files like adobe photoshop or like final cut pro onto the SSD drive. You can put your application on the SSD drive because it, it'll boot it up like an actual computer, but it's just not utilizing your computer's RAM or your CPU, right? So you're basically bringing like a mini version of a computer with you that has a faster read and write speed. So it makes editing a lot faster. It makes rendering speeds a lot faster than putting all of that onto your computer. So let's just say you don't have the most updated computer but you want to alleviate move files off. SSD drive, babes, get the SSD drive. Okay, so it doesn't have to be this one, but right now that is a really good deal. It's 65% off and in 10 hours, this deal is gonna end. So if you don't have SSD drive, again, two terabytes is a lot for those of you who don't work so much on like videos. So if you're sticking with photos, it's like perfect. If you just want to run programs off of it, but then store your file elsewhere, like on your computer, um, you just really need the 500 gigabytes. So think of it more as a mini computer that's basically, read and write speeds are a lot faster. So if you think of it more as a, like a complementary like device to help make your computer run faster, smoother, and like save and export all your video and photo files faster, that is what this does. You can also utilize it as a, basically a giant flash drive. You can totally do that. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to utilize its most maximum efficiency or use of what it's used for, you can literally start recording 8K footage, 4K footage straight to your SSD drive versus SD cards. And you can bring it on trips with you. So if you have those long trips and you're a content creator, you can edit on the plane utilizing this SSD drive. Just don't forget to move your like video editing program to the SSD drive because then it will alleviate a lot of that RAM CPU um, off your computer and onto your SSD drive. So everything will just be a lot smoother. Okay, so that is the deal of the day. I might have to come back to that one because they have it in one terabyte, four terabyte, and also 500 gigabytes. So whatever you need. Um, but literally, if you're using it just for speed, 500 gigabytes is totally fine. Um, but speaking of the terabytes and the storage though, I was like, what was I gonna talk about? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yesterday, I wanna go back to my other deal of the day since I wanna complete the story of editing on the plane, right? So let's say you're editing on the plane, got my MacBook computer, um, I have my SSD drive, now I have my mouse. Yesterday I talked about the Logitech M720 triathlon mouse, which is this one right here. Literally has been my favorite mouse because again, I talked about it more yesterday, so I'm just gonna briefly go over it for those of you who are just coming across my stream today. So first of all, thank you. But there is, um, I'm trying to like cover my face so you can see the things, but you have the one, two, three, right? So it allows you to sync up up to three different devices um, to this mouse. So that's right, I don't have to utilize a USB-A port to go from my MacBook, to go from um, my PC. I can literally set my mouse up to three different devices via Bluetooth, okay? So, you know how we're saying that everything's Bluetooth now um, and all these cords are becoming obsolete? So, cool, I'm able to use the mouse from my Mac 
on code one, then I program my code two to my PC. So when I switch my monitor screen, because I have both my PC and my Mac plugged into my same monitor, all I gotta do is switch the monitor to my PC and then click on and toggle number two and all of a sudden I can use this mouse on my PC versus my Mac. So this has been a huge time saver and I was thinking if I can do this with my mouse, because when I'm on the plane, um, I to edit is that you have very precise editing like I can't really just use a trackpad so what I'll do to not scratch up my computer is I'll put like a mouse pad on top of it and then I'll just throw this in my bag I don't need it's it's cordless it has a battery uh, ability of um, two years off of one double a battery and if your device is not bluetooth there is a connector on the inside that allows you to make anything with a USB a port compatible with this mouse. So if you don't have Bluetooth yet on your computer, no worries. This mouse will still work with non-Bluetooth devices, but this is great for those who have been waiting, yearning for a, a way to have a mouse on a computer or when you're traveling that you don't have to attach it to a dongle through the USB-A port. You don't have to you know, have a wire everywhere. This is a wireless mouse that allows you to use the mouse across three different Bluetooth devices. And again, if you don't have Bluetooth capabilities, it does come in. You saw how easy it was. You can store that little piece in the mouse itself. So you always have a backup because USB-A is pretty universal, but Bluetooth is the way to go in my humble opinion. But this is what I wanted to get to is of course, if you think about it, you can have a mouse across three different devices, but can you have a keyboard across three different devices? Well, yes, you can. Um, this is not technically a deal of the day, but it's the same brand and it's the same kind of lineup. So if you want something that also matches your aesthetics, um, it's the same color black and it's also by Logitech. Um, the buttons are a little different, but um, I've done quite a bit of soul searching to find this wireless keyboard and it is 10% off even though it's not a deal of the day but I figured if you were in the market to upgrade your desktop setup um, I've, I've taken years to do this so um, if you're overwhelmed by the amount of gear that I have not everything is plugged in so just a disclaimer uh, <laughs> but this is what I would recommend so I take this off so I can open this up but yeah I've been wanting everything wireless because as you can see I have a lot of things hooked up so the less wires I can have when it comes to other things like my mouse or my keyboard or just anything I totally appreciate it because I don't like seeing the wires cable management system is a huge thing um, it also is one of those hashtag oddly satisfying things that happens when you're watching content but this is my new favorite keyboard this is the Logitech K780. It's the one that I have selected in my carousel right now. The reason why I loved it is because, you know, initially when I had my iPad over here instead of my laptop, because right now my laptop's on this floating arm system, but last time I had it, my iPad here. I just needed it to be held up. I, I didn't care about it being on the table because I have to lift up my iPad every now and then. This keyboard has a divot right here. So it allows you to put devices like your phone or uh, your notebook or even like your iPad here in the divot. So if you wanted to use this keyboard with like your iPad and use this as a full on keyboard, for your device like an iPad, let me show you how to do it actually. I'm like, why, do I, why am I talking about it when I can just show you about it? So I have the iPad with all your lovely chats right now and I'll just put it in the divot. Let me show you like from the viewing, I just put it in the divot. Can you see that right here? Here's the divot and then boom. So that's how I can literally sync this Bluetooth device to the iPad and it can recognize and you can save it okay so you can put that there you can put your phone there that's why I really like this keyboard there's other keyboards obviously that are wireless and has the ability to sync up to three different devices like this one but I specifically wanted this divot so if you're looking for something that has a little bit of a divot to hold your devices to um, bring when you're like watching TV or something like this is another way of doing it as well so there's that but then why I really like this is because there is three buttons. Again, it's one, two, three, right here, one, two, three. And when you hold down on it, 
and you um, connect it to any of your Bluetooth devices, you can sync it and set it as a preset. So right now, if I click number one, I'm able to use my wireless keyboard from Logitech on my MacBook system. Number two, I, Again, if you were here yesterday, you know how much I hate typing on my phone or swiping. Swiping is a lot better, but don't like autocorrect and all that stuff. But I can put my phone in this divot and like, let's say somebody is texting me and they need to have a link or a system or whatever. I can literally use, click number two on my keyboard because I have a program to in sync to my smartphone. I can type on my phone utilizing this keyboard and I can use a full keyboard. And then number three, again, is my PC. So I just have to switch the monitor, but I don't have to get up. I don't have to re-plug in all my cords. Again, this is wireless, there's no cords. And how this is operated, you have two AAA batteries in the back. Um, again, it has the same exact functions as this Logitech mouse where it's okay if you don't have a Bluetooth, but you are only able to make one of your devices that is not Bluetooth synced to um, this keyboard, but there is the ability. And again, just like the Logitech mouse and the keyboard with the batteries required, these will last for 24 months or two years. So I love having the ability to not have to worry about charging it every seven days, forgetting to charge it with a battery alone. And then you could like work on getting rechargeable batteries to save the environment, but you're able to operate your mouse and your keyboard for two whole years without ever going dead, um, which is a very, very long time that you don't have to worry about replacing or recharging your battery. So that is my favorite keyboard. Um, the buttons. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Richard's asking me, Nikki, how is the feel of the keyboard, the buttons? It definitely has a nice weight to it. Um, uh, it's thin. It's super thin, which is what I like. What I initially wanted is because I had this huge Cherry MX keyboard. You know, I love the, the feel and the sound of it when I'm editing, but it does make a lot of noise and it's very heavy. It's bulky. And because it had all these RGB lights in it, the second USB cord, a lot of those keyboards come with two USB-A that you have to plug it in both. Otherwise, you're not gonna get the light if you don't plug in one of the USB-A cords. And then with the other one, it takes up another port. And because I have a MacBook Pro, I have to put it through a dongle. And because I have two ports, it would drag, it would be heavy to drag down my USB-C hub connecting it. So again, I wanted to make my desktop very seamless, very organized. Um, right now, obviously, there's so much tech on here, but um, you should have seen my previous desk. It was just a wild storm with so many cords from my keyboard and my mouse just going through everything. So I would say this is a probably a nice weight of maybe three, two, three pounds, but it's super thin. And the, the buttons are actually quite nice. Actually, let me type to you. <laughs> I want to type to you. Um, and let me put my audio here if you want to hear some ASMR, but like, um, really liking the buttons on this keyboard. So there is like a nice bounce, a nice springiness to uh, the keys. You can actually feel it. So that's the one thing I did not like about the new um, uh, keypads or the keyboard pads on the MacBook Pros. They're like super thin now. Um, I wished those would be a little bit more beveled up, like how the original MacBook Pros used to be, but I have the Touch, the 2017 version, and the keyboard is like literally like typing on thin paper. But this one is kind of how it was for the MacBook Pro originally, where you can see that it's raised a little bit. I would say it's about like one, two, I would say about like five millimeters or four millimeters of like it coming off. So there is a nice like, if you can see that or feel that, there is a nice springiness to it. So I really, really like it. <laughs> oh, shout out to D Mullins for following. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, folks, I feel like I'm getting down to the wire here. I know yesterday I went half an hour past my time, but I just wanted to make sure, let me just go through everything to make sure I got it, because then at least if you have to go, you can always come back in and I can make sure we talk about everything. Um, let me just, oh, there's a whole section I didn't talk about. 
um, but I'll do it really quickly. So again, this has been my favorite tripod for content creation. I wouldn't even call it, it's like a desktop tripod, gorilla pod, but it's not technically a deal of the day, but it is 41% off. So these tripods by Joby are a little bit more pricier than normal tripods. However, I would say it's a favorite of mine for a reason. Not only is everything interchangeable with standard size quarter 20 threads when it comes to putting things onto actual tripods and your DSLR and your phones, um, it's just smartly designed and they are so for content creators. So if you're a content creator wanting to like partner with like a company that actually values their creators, like Joby has been so good to me from the start. But this is like one of my favorite. And if not this part, just get the head, which is also 35% off. Um, yay, Richard said he's gonna pick up the keyboard. So thanks for the demo. You're so welcome. I hope you love it because it has changed my life. Um, again, paired with the mouse and the keyboard, having three devices to sync up to via Bluetooth has been a game changer. And it has been a nice way to declutter my brain when I'm staring at my desk, especially if it's white, <laughs> because I, I used to have a black desk and I, I love black everything, but I was like, I should probably use a white desk because when I do product demonstrations, it'll have a nice contrast when I'm showcasing products. But because it's white, now I'm just even more like thinking about cords and everything so this has been so great in my system um johnny goes nice choice richard okay so again um you've heard me talk about this a lot so a thing about this live stream is i don't ever want to just be sell 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 deals of the day deals of the day but when i do see some of my favorite devices that i genuinely love and have been using for years that i think you could utilize in your content creation that has been a game changer for me i will throw it into my carousel too Okay, so this Joby is amazing. Um, again, if you've never had like an on table top tripod, it's like you're saying just even a video call, right? Um, a video call or just um, taking content or bringing out with you to a restaurant if you are a foodie and you're taking content. This is really nice to throw in your bag and it also will, you know, uh, remove itself so it's becoming a lot smaller you can actually just purchase this top part as well and this will go on any standard quarter 20 thread tripod so if you already have like a desktop stand um totally fine but i'm going to show you why this head specifically is the reason why i will go back to this tripod every single time i don't care what other new stuff comes out but i'll tell you this is everything that i could want in a tripod where's my phone uh, where did I put my, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is perfect for phone users when you're creating content. As you can tell, there is no spring clip. I do not like those spring clips because if you, you can pinch your fingers and also break a nail. Um, uh, it's also like, if you're doing everything one-handed for some reason, like let's say you're on the phone with somebody, you don't have your like Galaxy earbuds in and you need to like put it in, you just have to like switch it like that and all of a sudden you can open it like that. So I can put my phone in the middle and just spring it like that. And then I can also go from vertical to horizontal like that. So I can take vertical videos or if I wanna take 4K, like put it, put my smartphone in cinematic or pro mode, I can actually utilize this content and create it myself as well. So when, when you're ready to, in the position, you just lock it in place and there you go, you have it right there. So again, I can put it, let me move my stuff so you can see it, but maybe move my Teradek box out of the way a little bit. Okay, so cool. So you can see the phone go from vertical, again, with the flip of a switch, I can go from horizontal to vertical in an instant, okay? So another great thing I like about this is the shoe mount that comes with it, okay? This is pretty different to see on things. That's also why I like the Ulanzi tripod head that I have for my floating arm system on this camera. I don't know if you can see it, but um, here it is. This is my Ulanzi tripod thing, but right here there is a shoe mount as well, a cold shoe mount, so I can put like other things like maybe a boom mic or anything that has a shoe mount right there. So that's why I like it. Same concept goes with this. So what you do with this is I charge my Aperture MC light, which is also in my carousel, but 
you just have like your light, right? And then this goes into the shoe mount. So now when I'm on the go, I can attach all these devices, right? And I can turn on the light. I can, you know, besides having a selfie light, I can put it on there. But it's like now I can create content this way too. I can also, like I saw before, I can use the shoe mount of my audio. Sorry, it's going to differ in audio levels because this is actually my mic. But I can attach it here. And um, what I would do is there is an Allen wrench um, ability here. So you are able to um, use an Allen wrench and position the shoe mount differently. So I would obviously want the shoe mount to be aimed at me. So I would use the Allen wrench to angle this towards me. But then now I can capture quality audio while doing video on my phone that way. And it's like this mobile content creator kit. Okay, let me put it back on here. I'm like, I don't know why I was holding it. But yeah, let me put this back on. Put the light. Yeah. Oops, let me put this on here. But, oh, so you can't see it. Let me put it back here. So yeah, see this shoe mount right here? I'm able to do this and then that. And then now I can create more content and I get this nice little soft glow on my face and I can adjust the lighting. Um, you know, I can like make it brighter, make it like lower, um, darker, you know, darker, lighter. So it does make a huge difference when you're creating content on the go. So I'll just turn it off because this is like what my light is right now. It's a huge difference, right? So I love this tripod. So again, it's not a prime early access deal, but it is 41% off today. Um, I'll just show you really quickly too that after, if you can't fit it in your purse like, like this, the top part can screw off. And then what I would just advise you to do then is to get the top part, but the, this part alone is almost the same price as the leg, so that's why I included it here. So the Grip Tight, the Joby Grip Tight Pro 2 is 35% off too, but for like, what is that? For less than $10 more, you get the, the leg stand too. And the thing is, you can always attach other devices like your GoPro on this or whatever, but then this part, you can attach this because it has a standard quarter 20 thread at the bottom. You can put this on any standard quarter 20 tripod. So like this camera that is on my tripod, let's just say I wanted to get vertical content, but just with my phone, I could just take off the top part of that Grip Type 2 Pro, and then I can attach this to my tripod. Whoops, I didn't lock it in place tight enough. But then I can um, put this on top of my tripod, and then I can take vertical content, or I can also do, again, horizontal content. And then there is, at the same time, um, a tilt. So you're able to like tilt it forward, backwards. So everything that you could need to be like a content creator. And also, again, it's universal. So if let's say you're, you're tired of doing video on your DSLR, you just wanna take a quick vertical on your phone so you can upload a TikTok or Instagram reels right away. You can literally remove your DSLR, put this where the quarter thread 20, a quarter 20 thread is, and then attach your phone. So it's a fast way to go from DSLR to your phone. And also again, when you're out in public and you just want something, maybe you're at a beach or just anything really in general, you can break it down really easy. And then you can also just turn this into a tabletop. And then also you can take video and content with your friends and you can be in it too. So that's the one thing about content creators. We're usually creating content for other people and it's hard to like get ourselves in the photos too. But when you have little tripods that are that you can break down and bring to multiple places, it's really, really nice to be able to like go and be included as well. <laughs> yes. Oh, Richard says it's coming tonight so I can't wait to try it out. Yay. Please tell me what three devices you're gonna sync it up to. So I was surprised that I even had three devices um, that I would be using every day. So being able to switch from especially my Mac and my phone has been such a game changer and being able to type sometimes when I want to sit down and stand up and I need to move places um, has been a game changer as well. So I absolutely just 
I have just been loving that keyword. So I'm glad that you got that, Richard, and I'm excited to see what you think about it. And just because I was on it, the Aperture, my friends over at Aperture are having a really giant sale for Prime Early Access as well. It's mostly taking place on their website, but they've assured me that the one on Amazon is there. So I just want to make sure that they actually get the credit sometimes because you get a lot of secondhand distributors doing all that stuff. But this one is 12% off. Um, this is a really, really awesome light. So for those of you who just saw that, um, it, it's a really bright light. It's a pocket size, it's credit card size, but because I added a diffuser on it, um, it allows it to have like an even distribution of lighting on my face. Um, you also are able to uh, change the intensity and also it has effects on here. So I'm gonna just change it. It's also app controllable, by the way. So I've, I've done this demonstration many times before in the past, but um, let's see if we can do effects on here. Okay, so this is Cop Car. <laughs> And, um, oh, shout out to Brian, who's always in my um, live streams and is always waiting for me to do this. But because you were here yesterday, you've never missed one. I'm going to do it for you. So, like a cop car. Okay, there you go. So you, now you have that sound bite. You can keep that forever. Um, but yeah, there's the cop car function on these lights. And again, if you push it against the wall, it looks pretty real. You can adjust the intensity. Um, in addition to that, there's also fire mode. So um, when you're recording a film and you, you know, put this off, you can also have that glow on your face like you've been staring into a fire. Again, you can adjust the intensity because it really depends on the scene, how bright or how dim you want it. There is, let's see what other modes are there. There, oh, the intensity is at that. Uh, pulsing, there's party mode. Oh, there's also lightning. So there's a lightning mode, TV mode, um, faulty bulb, fireworks, super nice. And the great thing, again, folks, is this is also completely app controllable. So uh, just as a last demonstration, I feel like this is a great one to end on. Um, let's see, let me show you my sink. So let's go to, back to, let's see, CCT. Uh, okay, all right, so I'm gonna put this on here. All right, so on this mode, okay, let me just do this so you can see it. This is my Aperture MC Light, Amaran MC Light. Um, they do sell them individually, but their four kit, their four piece kit is also on the Prime Early Access deal. So you can get four and it comes with the same kind of charging case as a Ceramonic I was talking about. You plug it in and it charges everything all at once. Love that. These are also magnetic. So somebody used it in their filmmaking project when they were trying to light up a vending machine. So they were able to put four different lights in a vending machine to get that lighting and then was also able to control it through their app to make effects. So like you think about things like Stranger Things or um, you know just other things that you wanna create special lighting effects. These are really nice and small. Also you can throw it in your purse, have a nice selfie light. Um, uh, you can put it in your content creation so you can have a nice light wherever you go. But the link is called Sidus Link, S-I-D-U-S. And I've been able to connect and create scenes so I don't have to come back and redo everything. I already have my light set up. It just needs to scan and it's again through Bluetooth. So yeah, these lights that I have in my studio and this Aperture Amaran MC90 light, which I'm talking about right now for the Prime Early Access sale, also is Bluetooth app controllable. So I'm gonna click on the MC light, which is this one right here. I'm gonna do it far in this demonstration because then you can see it actually doing something to my face. Right now the intensity is at 11%, but I'm gonna use this app and you can see it totally adjusting. I'm not touching it, I'm not touching it, but you can totally see the light do its thing when I do that. So I can also have a half, a full, and a quarter. 
But then what comes, what becomes really cool is when you get into the effects mode. So I can adjust the effects from here and deploy the effects from here as well. So I'm gonna do, let's say cop, let's see, what am I gonna do? Let's do um, cop car again, cause it's the most like visually, you can see it from where we are, but I'm gonna press cop car and then press start. And so I've been able to trigger the cop car effect from my phone. Um, so if you're doing a film, for instance, and you need it to trigger at a certain time, gone are the days where you have to be on site and do it. You can actually just deploy everything from your area and you can stop it from where you are. Then you can switch back to gels or white. And the cool thing about this light by uh, Aperture is also an RGB light. So it's not just white. Um, you get all the colors of the rainbow. So we can go to the color mode. Here is, let me so show you closer. There's color mode, so you're able to choose like different colors. Um, let's pick like green, right? Or like red, because I think it's a little bit more obvious. And let's turn that intensity up to like 60%, so you can actually see it on my face. But this is like a red, right? But <laughs> for those of you who've seen this before, this is my, the, the one feature that blows my mind the most is the color picker. So um, yes, this is color picker mode, which basically just like an actual Adobe Photoshop program or anything allows you to go anywhere if you need a specific color and I'll change it to that color. So I'm just going to use this, um, just because it's red right now, the back of this Foreo, um, cause I was gonna talk about the Foreo cause it's, it's tech, but it's beauty tech. But yeah, so I'm gonna use the back of this box and then I'm gonna pick up this color. And when I press pick up, just watch the color change. Now it is the exact same color. Isn't that so cool? So this is the color. Let me go back here to that. And it changed this back to the color on my face now. And so now I can be truly on brand. Um, the only difference is you just wanna adjust the intensity too. So if you want it to be uh, like more of that purple color, you can adjust the hue to make it more purple, more saturated, but it'll still pick and pull from the original color that you just color picked from. Um, and then just because I'm talking about the 4AO, this is a pink, um, really electronic facial device that is very soothing, which I love. And this one's actually on early access. Um, I keep saying early access, early prime, but it's prime early access. Okay, it's a tongue twister. So prime early access. This is on a deal right now, but this skin cleanser facial automatic tech thing, like literally like the best thing I've spent money on is, so yeah, if you wanna treat yourself to a spa day, we'll talk about this right after if we have time for it. But um, let's pick up this color really quickly. So I'm gonna go back to the picker and then I'm gonna get this pink color. And then since I'm here right now, I'm just gonna pick up this color and you can see my face. Ooh, look at that. Now it is this pink color and I'm gonna bring down the hue, pull up the intensity. But yeah, that is the demonstration and I'm gonna go back to the half color white and then show you what it looks like with the, the white. So. Yeah, I love it. So really cool light. Again, I, I love lights. If you haven't, if you couldn't tell by now, I, I do love lights. So check out my friends over at Aperture. Um, they are doing a deal and they also have, besides the MC light, the Amaran 100 light. That is also the one I use in my studio as well. So both the lights that I've been talking about for the past couple of streams are on um, their site as a prime early access deal. So, but you're saving about 10 to 12%, okay? We're not talking about 60% here, but their stuff rarely goes on sale because there's, I think their products are actually quite quality. And on top of that, they have the best customer service. They have people that work and um, they're always at these trade shows, NAB, CES. So they're a really great company to know um, and they actually value customer input. So if you feel like, hey, it'd be great if you added this function, most likely they're gonna like work your input into their next iteration of their product. So just saying like, they've been a really wonderful company to know. So um, one thing about products is, uh, especially on Amazon, is you can get a lot of knockoffs or second uh, like copycats 
um, that haven't really gone through to um, the, the level of work and research when asking customers what they really value and want. So it's really important for me as someone who is on Amazon to make sure that I'm connecting viewers also with those high quality brands that do give a value, uh, that do care. I was gonna say give a explicit word, <laughs> expletive word. Um, they, give, they give a care about you. So it's really important for me to also share the brands that I love that also care about what customers think and they value your opinion and they work it into their next iteration of their brand. So absolutely love this Aperture Amaran MC Lite. And just because I have it on right now, um, I'm just gonna talk really quickly about the Amaran 100D. So if you're looking for studio lights, um, they have Aperture, which is their main brand, but Amaran is actually kind of like a sister brand to them. So it's the same thing. So Amaran is still part of Aperture. It's just like a different, it's more catered to content creators. I will say that um, the Aperture products on my left side um, is probably six times the price of this light right here. So this Amaran 100D light, I actually really like because it actually is Bluetooth controllable. So since I have it here anyways, I'm going to look at my fixtures. I'm gonna to toggle on my Amaran because that is the 100D lighting. And if you're looking for studio lights for your at-home studio, I think this is a great opportunity to work these studio lights into your system. It's part of their prime early access deal and it's Bluetooth capable. So you saw what I did with the small MC light right here on this side, this is the MC light. But now I'm gonna talk about this light over here on this side. So I'm gonna leave it over here so you can see that. Um, and I'm gonna bring, actually let me turn off my, let me turn off the MC light. Oh, I put it on an effect. <laughs> Hold on, uno momento. Okay, so I'm gonna just turn that lower just so you don't see too much of a difference over there. But I'm gonna go back to the Amaran light. Okay, so for those of you just tuning in now, welcome. Please hit the follow button, join us in the chat. But we're getting towards to the end of this live stream. I have been live streaming for two days, uh, but I go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and we talk about tech, lifestyle, and products that you can utilize to help um, better your content creation game. But right now I'm gonna show you a live demonstration of the Amaran 100D, um, which is a sister company to Aperture. So they're again, great people, but the 100D is the one I have on my right side and I'm able to adjust the lighting here. Let me go back into this mode. So I can adjust the lighting with my Bluetooth, uh, my phone through Bluetooth. Um, this is not an RGB light, so you're not gonna get all those fancy colors. However, there are um, certain effects that could be really, really helpful, such as, um, let's see, I would say, especially with white, like lightning so here's the lightning so you can literally make a thunderstorm in your apartment or place um, i can turn up the frequency so if you want more lightning at a faster pace you would up the frequency and then also the intensity you can bring up the intensity so this really allows you to have multiple effects um, and I'm sorry because I realized I should have given a warning first to in case it's setting off some seizures. So I'm going to stop this right now. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the white. But I just wanted to show you how easy that was. This is useful, for instance, for a lot of us who are on camera and also our camera operators ourselves. Sometimes you cannot go back and forth to see like, you know what, I should have dimmed it 5% less or 5% more. I can stay in it's the same place, look at my monitor off to the side, and then adjust it. So not only do I have preset quarter, half, and then full, I'm also able to go really down to the decimal um, to like, I'm, I'm at 80.6%, you know? Like a lot of these folks will only just have quarters. So you can get really specific in how bright you want it. And I normally really don't have it that high because um, I can always fix in post for certain things, but I, I like to have, uh, just a, enough light where um, you can see certain things, right? So this quarter is a little bright, so I want to go a little less than that. So maybe like 23%. So, 
Brian's here! <laughs> he mentioned he could not possibly do it, but that was just for you. I see that he has the cop car icon, so it makes me, it signifies to me or signals to me that you saw the segment where I, I did the cop car segment. That was just for you, homie. So I'm just letting you know that. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for studio lights, on camera lights, content creator lights, all the lights, um, Aperture again and Amaran are doing a prime early access sale of about 10 to 12% off their normal products. And usually, again, they don't really have sales every day um, and when they do it is about that um, I really doubt it's only the times when you actually see them at the booths at NAB and CES and they don't want to bring all their equipment at home that they're open to selling their gear that they brought for trade shows at a discount but this is probably going to be like a really good time to get lights if you've never had lights in the past so just saying and um yeah I would say that's all I kind of want to talk about right now, but um, just because the only other thing that is actually a prime deal, I want to just go down my, my thing really quick. Um, the stuff that I actually do have, I'll just run it over really quick just so I have it for the prime early access deal. It might just be a little different because you guys are so used to me talking about tech, but I do have some things that are non-camera film related that I like to show you if you're here and I might hop on to like different um, viewers um, or audiences utilizing this. Um, so I will say this is now my holiday mode. My now, like if you're trying to get a gift for your um, girlfriend or your wife or just like a really good, I mean, guys could use this too, um, but I mean, it's definitely catered more towards women, but actually I should take it back. This is meant for everybody. There's different colors too. But anyways, one of my absolute favorite treat myself, and this is still tech. This is why I was hesitant to put this in my tech deals um, playlist, but at the same time, I use it. So if I use it and I talk about all this other stuff too, why can't I talk about it? So this Foreo UFO face mask is a prime early access deal. So if you are a prime member, again, this whole two day exclusive deal ends tonight. Um, Johnny will let me know the time because I think last time it was like 10 hours from now. So I believe we have less than 10 hours now before the whole prime early access deal ends but this is considered a prime early access and i've actually just never seen this on sale at all before so this is 20 percent off its usual price but when paired with the multiple skin sheet mask i have one left so i was gonna do that later tonight i was gonna do it now but i didn't want to waste it because i still have the rest of the day to get through um but i might use this tonight because I feel like it's a treat myself. But these are, come in boxes, I believe there's seven. There's seven, they come in boxes of seven, but they are the special individualized face masks. There's different kinds. This one is the Make My Day Hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid and red algae in it, but this is for like the hydration one, I believe, but there's many, many different kinds in here, okay? But this is a treat yourself, this is beyond just putting a facial mask over your face. This is technology based. It's uh, infrared lighting based. So I just want to turn it on. So um, the button is right here. This is also waterproof. So you can totally run it through. So I just turned it on. It's trying to find its sink. Again, everything on the show seems to be Bluetooth compatible, UCBC, or just some cool tech that I utilize to make our lives better. But this is my absolute favorite treat myself product. So makes for a great gift as well for someone who maybe has everything. Um, this shares with them that I care about you, your self care, your skin, and it is also tech based. So this is a nice way to introduce um, certain people in your life to maybe technology that they're more willing to embrace than maybe all this camera gear. So this is why I'm going to talk about this. But there is an app. Again, there's an app for everything. But it is the Foreo app. And then I don't have to put the actual sheet on it. But so you'll have this. 
Okay, so you can sync up your devices. So I have two devices from Foreo actually. I have the Luna brush that I use every day in the shower um, to like exfoliate lightly my skin in the shower. But then I have this UFO mini. So when this UFO mini turns on and when I put the sheet mask in between the rings, I'm able to go through this really relaxing experience and I'm gonna actually turn it on so you can hear it. Alrighty, so let us do, uh, okay, let's do this device, um, sheet mask treatments, oops, oh, you know what, I might have turned off my Bluetooth, uh, made it manage for app to have location services, and oh, there it is while using the app, okay, cool. They change it on me on the spot, but guess what? We are able to figure it out on the spot together. So they'll tell you exactly how to do it. It's a guided tour. Let me turn off this light actually. It's a guided tour, but you'll be able to see like all the, it might be a little bit too bright, but you'll be able to see all these skin um, products over here. So it's just like this, right? So you're able to basically choose your adventure or specifically choose it. So they have different sheet mask and um, treatments and you're able to just pick one. So I'm just gonna pick, you know, one of the treatments. Uh, okay. Okay. And then what you do is you remove the ring and then when you open the sheet mask that's in here, it's the same size as this. And you put the sheet mask in here and then you put the ring to enclose it. So just pretend there is a sheet mask right here and it's like this. I put it in the wrong way. Okay. And then when you press start, it'll start, right? So I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's why I can't hear it because my earbuds are on. You know that thing that I dropped earlier? It was my earbud and one of them popped out and I can't find it. So that's why you can't hear it right now. Oh, actually, oh, let me take off my Bluetooth. That's right, I'll take off my Bluetooth, um, like Galaxy Buds. There it goes. Oh, dang it. If I turned off that Bluetooth. Okay, well, anyways, what I was saying is it'll take you through a guided um, facial instruction to utilize this, and then uh, it'll tell you to move it, and then I'll like actually have green light, red light, and I'll like go through your skin to like help reduce wrinkling or make for more anti-aging um, skincare. So each one of these sheet mats paired with this facial device will allow different treatments for your skin. So it is a really fun way to relax in the morning or at night when you've had a long day or maybe you've had like a lot of makeup on and you just want to have like a facial that's a little bit more activated than just a regular sheet mask. So if you want something that has a little bit more TLC in it, this is a really fun tech beauty product. I actually turned my, um, one of the couple of my neighbors onto these because they're always asking what I use for my skin, but um, really it is just trying to sleep better. But when you can't sleep better, um, these devices like the Foreo does work. And so I was really pleasantly surprised that it was on prime access early, uh, prime early access today. And the only other one that I have that's non techie related, but kind of tech related that I wanted to share because I use this every day and it is like the best thing in my personal day to day versus my filmmaking side is this Kasori uh, electric kettle. It is a prime early access deal as well, but this is my go-to favorite tea kettle of all time. It does have that nice elegant gooseneck. So here's the thing, I don't drink coffee. I naturally have a lot of energy, but I've always wanted to have that morning ritual that we all do to get ourselves ready. I feel like even going to coffee shops, 
um, is more of a, a morning ritual to get you up kind of like I got out of bed so here's a treat for myself but to save money time energy I've just invested in my own tea kettle um, that way I can shower or get ready while my water is boiling and the cool thing about this kettle in general is it has a hold temperature button and it very specifically I can't bring my kettle over here but the Kasori electric kettle that I have currently selected in my carousel, if you're watching on Amazon, um, it is 19% off. It is a prime early access deal, but this is the same exact tea kettle that I have. I've had it for over two years now, um, but it has really elevated, especially during the panorama, as I like to call it, a way for me not to spend money. Every time I go out, I invested in a um, alkaline water adapter straight from my faucet. So when I just open up my kettle, like switch my uh, sink faucet to like the alkaline filter, and then I'm able to just put it back on. And there's like these modes that will tell you exactly what degree temperature you want, specifically for teas, okay? There is a coffee button, there is a boil black button, but there's also like very specific tea temperatures like oolong tea or green tea because you don't want to burn the tea leaves. So if for those of you who are just really, really into tea and you want something a little bit more electric than just putting a kettle on your stove, this has been nice because uh, what I'll do is I'll turn it on, which is the far left button. I'll pick oolong, which is that 160 degree uh, Fahrenheit temperature. And then I'll press the whole temperature button. So once it reaches that temperature, it'll make a beeping sound like beep, beep, beep. And the, the lights will be blue so you know it's done. But the whole temperature will keep it at that temperature until you tell it not to. So let's say you're boiling like a big pot of tea. And maybe you're waiting for people to come over. You can press the whole temperature button and you'll be able to keep it at that temperature. So you don't have to start from zero to 100 really quick you can literally maintain it at that level and then you know when you're done with the tea you just release the hold but this has helped me because what i do oh, let me turn my phone back off now that i have it now that i realize that my earbud is missing and somewhere on the floor <laughs> and all that mess but um what i'm able to do is i'll pour i'll start my kettle then I'll go shower. And then by the time I finish like rinsing off, if I'm not doing my hair, I'll be able to have my tea ready. And then because I don't drink coffee, but I drink a lot of tea, I have a whole system of my tea bags just nicely displayed in this clear acrylic box. And all my tea packages are in there. All my loose teas are in like glass containers. I got all this stuff from Amazon, by the way. But I will say out of all the things that help me, that I use daily, maybe even three or four times a day. Like the amount of hot water this girl drinks, I tell you, like this has been the most amazing gift to myself during the panorama. So if you're looking for like an electric tea kettle or even just hot water or even like a boiling water, because even when you're doing like instant noodles and stuff, you can literally hit the boil black function, make sure it's at the right temperature and utilize it as well. So like let's say I'm about to get off my stream and I'm hungry and I want to like have instant noodles for whatever reason I'll get that going while I can do other things and by the time it's ready and even if I'm not ready at the time I'll hold the temperature so um it's ready when I want it to be you know so I really like it but yeah thank you all for joining me on this actually more than two hour live stream today I realized I was just kind of just going with the flow and I wasn't expecting everybody to just kind of stay on like you did but thank you so much for joining and also uh, got a new Amazon customer started following so shout out thank you for following again my name is Nikki Sun this is my show Tech Nikki Speaking it's a play off of the pun, technically speaking. I do a live show about technology and products and lifestyle goods that you can utilize to up your level of content creation game. And um, if you'd like to join me, I also have a YouTube channel, uh, Technically Speaking. I'm also on Instagram. So if you cannot wait to see me every until Tuesdays and you want more tech tutorials, please check out my YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, help me get the follower count up so I can just continue doing this for the rest of my life because I absolutely love it and I love sharing everything that I've learned in the past 12 plus years being in the media entertainment industry from the Beta LA 
from the bay, from Silicon Bay, oh no, from Silicon Valley to Silicon Beach. I've been in this industry for quite some time. So I just feel like with this whole content creator economy, there's so many newcomers and I welcome newcomers, but here are some things that you might maybe wanna know to save you all that energy and time and resources that a lot of us don't have when we first start out. We can't afford a lot of this equipment, but it doesn't mean your quality of content has to be sacrificed. So that is the one thing I just wanna share is like, you can always create content, but let's figure out how to tell your story and tell it even better daily. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Brian. Thank you to everybody who was watching because um, yesterday we broke our viewing record yesterday and it was a lot compared to what I'm used to. So I just want to say thank you who, to everybody who's been on these live streams since the beginning of this year. I've only been streaming once a week since the beginning of this year, but um, you know, going live two days in a row is a new thing. I'm like, now I need to rest and recover my voice. But, um, oh, Richard, yay! He just subscribed to my YouTube channel. I totally appreciate you. Totally forgot that I had it on the screen still. But just because I set it up this way, say goodbye to this version of my studio because I will bring this camera back to my overhead for next week. Um, or I don't know, what do you guys think about this new setup? Do you like this setup or do you prefer me to have a little bit more close on my hands when I'm talking about products. I do have two different angles, but um, but yeah. And now that I know the chat won't disappear, I'm actually able to ask questions and I know that there's a lag, so I know I won't hear the answers till like after I end the stream, but um, <laughs> yes. Nelson says, going back and forth is nice to change things up. And, um, and Richard says, I think a playoff of both works. All right, well, what if I did like a, even like a split view? Would you guys like that too? Like I have a separator direction, boom, boom, boom. I could do border thickness, but yeah, like I could, I could do stuff like this too. What's up? What's good? What's happening? <laughs> but yeah, I just really love everything I get to do on this YOLO Box Pro, but, but yeah. Nelson's like, oh, that's good too. All right, well, thank you so much for your input and your opinion, and I really appreciate you all. Enjoy the rest of this amazing hump day. We're almost there, we're almost to the weekend, and if you saw anything you liked on my carousel today, from today or yesterday, or even on my Amazon shop page, please help your girl out. Please, if you saw anything today, purchase through my links. Again, it does support my channel at no extra cost to you. I do get like a small fee and because technology is so popular, it's actually the smallest commission fee compared to beauty and everything else. So I do it because I love it and I feel um, it's not for the money, that's for sure. But if you can support by purchasing anything you saw today on your stream or even on other streams, like I believe it's, if you start on my page first, I think I do get credited with the, the commission. But thank you for supporting this tech channel. Um, thank you for supporting me every week and I'll see you next Tuesday. Okay, happy Wednesday.